Colony Barge and Prince have broken up. If you say you want to be friends first and probably try again on later to see if it's going to work out, then it's cool. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To all returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you're just joining me for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. So Talani Baj and Prince have broken up in a mutual agreement and in a discussion. Prince and Talani Baj hard. Talani Baj had told Prince that you know what, you're not making me happy. At some point, I don't even really understand you, person. And of course, Prince understood what she was saying, even though I think that Prince is not really into Talani Baj, and he used the suggestion that Talani Baj had preferred to the seat as an escape route. And what you just said is, I don't make you happy, which I understand. Um, yeah, you don't make me happy. Cool, which I totally understand. Mm -hmm. So, and I get it, because you said there's a lot of things about me that you don't understand. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. If you say you want to be friends yeah. first, and probably try again on later to see if it's going to work out, then it's cool. Yeah. So totally by just told me that you know what, since you're not making me happy and I'm not feeling you, I think we need to go back to square one and start as being friends and if I can really understand you, they're fine. But if it's not it, come on, chop knuckle, let's be friends. <laughs> Like we all know, it's been Tolly totally Nibaj trying to first the relationship to work. She was even the one who made the first move on Prince, who didn't agree at first, before Prince came back to ask her out. And right now, they just want to be friends and nothing more. So today, the housemate had their wager task presentation and it was about them paying tributes to their heroes. I'm going to be talking about one of the tributes that has got social media ablaze. It is worth Tony saying that she got pregnant through sexual foreplay. So I got him. I conceived him. But... I didn't have sex with the person. Normally, the story is you're having sex with someone and then you get pregnant. But I was a virgin to like 23 plus, so yeah, 23 plus. I never had sex with his dad. It was, the story sounds stupid. I know some people don't believe and it's fine. The only person I expect to believe is um, the person, the first person I had sex with because I bled, so. That's the only person I expect to believe. Truth be told, you can actually get pregnant without penetration. As long as there's a release of sperm, it will swim through into the vagina and of course fertilize the eggs. Am I, did I just talk about biology right now? So yeah, so it's what it is. I've actually seen a video of Tony before now, a video that talked about the lady who got pregnant without sex. So she was telling us about how she conceived her son and her son is five years old right now and her son is her hero as both of them are very close and that he's all that matters to her. Next on my gist is Praise. Praise has come to say that himself and his fiance who he has a son with may not work out to your fiance since leaving the house yes i did and i did what, last night what was her reaction to your yes stay? um i won't say it's all good because um she had her resentment and she you know she had her feelings hurt about you know um the, what happened in the house that's between between me and katrina that's you know mm -hmm. so um i don't know i i can't say for sure what's gonna happen but then I know that it shook us. It shook us very well. You know, apart from the fact that we have a son together, you know, that's one thing. We would always have that, but it shook our relationship. So um, I don't stay in, in Lagos. I'm from Abuja. So I would have to go to Abuja and sit with her and know the way forward. Yes, I want to marry her. You know, I, I want to marry her. I can't think of my life without her. But at the end of the day, you know, it's it's not just on my side it's also it's a partnership so if i want if i want it to work and she's so in the video you just watched we could see praise saying that himself and his fiance may not work out because of what happened between himself and katrina in the house in all honesty no woman will see her man in that kind of position and not to be hurt but i'm hoping that hey they can work things out and settle things and make it because in the long run praise had come out at some particular point in the house to say that his fiance gave him permission to play the game finally on my gist for now in an instagram live chat with daily mama the kid wire's dad has come out to say whatever is going on between his son kid wire and his girlfriend erika he is in Full support of it. I'm at I'm, I'm at home. There's no place in Nigeria that I don't have best friends to set up home. To me, they get my blessings. We are all one Nigeria. We are all the same people. It doesn't matter uh, uh, which language or which uh, 
which culture somebody has, we're all one and we're all, all Nigerians. So whatever he chooses or whoever he chooses, all I have to do as a father is support him. That's, that's, that's all. All. Yeah, that's it, you know. So, yeah, but uh, I can see that both, both, uh, he is, uh, uh, he is, uh, he is okay. And, um, I'm, I'm praying for him to continue to be himself the way he is, uh, dear to be. And guess what? He's going to have one wedding in Italy and one wedding in Nigeria for Kid Wires fans. Internet has frozen. Can you hear me? Yeah, internet. Forward to the coverage. The location is warming up on the page of Kid and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to be an international wedding. We will go all oh. over the world. Oh, yes, oh, yes, of course, of course. Yes, there has to be at least one Versace wedding in Italy. We must go to Italy for one Versace I will do. I will do another one here for his fans, for his massive fans. Let them also enjoy. Yes, for the fans. Yes, so yeah. yeah, let them enjoy the nice. part of the something. That would be nice. Thank yes. you so much, Terry. And Thank uh, you. good talk Thank to your you. friends. But trust me, it's a beautiful thing when parents are in full support of the choices of their children when it comes to marriage. But of course, you know, parents still have to check out and know, hey, is this person good for you in a way? They have to do your own background checks, not to dispute in the fact that the children can also decide on whoever they want to marry. But from what Kid Wire has told us tonight, maybe, maybe we should get ready for a wedding between Kid Wire and Rika. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what, guys? You will get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at the Femi Daniel. Until next time, I come here very soon. It's bye for now.